Hello everyone, this is Luna. In today's lesson, we'll use Blender's modifiers to create procedural vascular endothelial cells. Let's proceed to the actual demonstration. Delete all objects and create a plane. I'll use some common shortcuts, shown in the lower left corner of the video. Press Tab to enter edit mode. Press RX90 to rotate the plane 90 degrees around the X axis. Then rotate it 45 degrees around the Y axis. Finally, press SZ to scale it vertically. Now that we have a single segment, let's duplicate it using the array modifier. First, apply an array modifier to duplicate it 7 times along the X axis. Add another array modifier to duplicate it along the Z axis once and adjust the position using constant offset. Now we have two rows. Next, add another array modifier, set the z-axis count to 15 and adjust the spacing. Create a circle curve and scale it up slightly. Add a curve modifier to the diamond array, set the deform axis to X. We see the model isn't fully wrapping into a tube. Press S to scale it until it wraps completely. Create a new curve. Press tab to enter edit mode, scale up the curve, and adjust the points in the top view. Apply another curve modifier to deform the diamond array onto this new curve, setting the axis to Z. Now the curve looks a bit short, scale it up further in edit mode. Now we have a vascular endothelial cell array, but it lacks thickness. Add a solidify modifier to give it thickness, and a subdivision surface modifier to smooth it. However, the model shrinks when smoothed due to low geometry. Add a bevel modifier to increase the edge count. Now the model is ready. Open the material panel. I've preloaded an HDR for basic lighting. Add a new material, set its color to red, and reduce roughness. Use a bump node with noise to add surface texture. You can also increase subsurface scattering for a more translucent look. Add lights, adjust their position and intensity, and you'll get a decent result.
To adjust the vessel shape later, simply edit the curve, the cells will follow automatically. Create a camera, position it appropriately, and click Render to get the final image. Click Save as to export it. That's how you create vascular endothelial cells using Blender. If you have questions, please leave a comment, I'll respond promptly. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.